So if you own a C5, C6, or a C7, you got some notchy transmission issues or just shifting issues in general, you might want to stick around. So what's up guys? Happy Monday morning. So I've had this car roughly two years. I've changed the clutch fluid on it a couple times, no big deal. Pretty standard operating procedure to bleed it, especially if you got a speed bleeder, no big deal. Uh, for whatever reason, over the last six, seven months or so, after the last time I bled it, it just felt a lot more notchy than normal. Doing a shifter adjustment, alignment, and adjusting the pedal, um, and re-bleeding it. I never, it never felt as good as it did when I bought it, or my C6 or C7. Um, I got a thought in my head. I ran to Lowe's, and I put together a little contraption, which I'm going to show you right now. This little guy right here, I know it looks kind of silly. Uh, pretty much it's just a vacuum pump I had for another job. I got from Harbor Freight for like $20 some years ago. And I went and got this little rubber plug that they sell in the hardware section at Lowe's. It was like $1.50. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to do this. So yeah, so what I did was I do have a speed bleeder. I put the speed bleeder all the way down to the floor, routed it through the engine bay. So any air in there would come to the top. And... I assumed all the air was out of it because I'm very careful when I bleed my clutch, especially with a speed bleeder. Not only do I have a speed bleeder with a little uh, ball bearing inside of the spring, I also submerge it in brake fluid, clean brake fluid, so any air gets sucked back in. It's just fluid. On a whim, I just thought, you know, maybe there is air in there. Sure enough, I uh, and this fit perfect. It was, it was amazing. It was like it was made for it. Um, I took out some of the fluid with a little squeeze pump. Uh, it's about there's about half inch on the bottom. I put this in. I pulled the vacuum to about about 15 inches of vacuum, uh, and I heard a huge gulp. I, was, I took it out, and sure enough, and then there was like five, six more huge bubbles came out. I couldn't believe it. I did it again, pulled the vacuum, take the suction off. It's kind of hard to get off. I kind of pulled the suction off top the plunger and you can get it off that way um, and then I got about 10 more bubbles I did it one more time and man let me tell you uh, on occasion I'll, I would have problems getting the first sometimes at a stop or when I first start the car going reverse I always had to go back to like fourth or sixth in the back to reverse it's been a few days since I did this the car feels driving how it does when it's off it is phenomenal so I wonder how many people out there think they have all the air out of their system and they don't. Now I imagine you could do this on the reverse side and suck it through the bleeder. This way it's just so much easier. Um, but yeah, cost of this and this, you're talking $22. You got yourself an awesome little vacuum pump to get any air out of your clutch system. And imagine you could do this reverse on your brake system too. Typically on my brakes, I use it for my brakes, I pull it through the other end, you know, at the caliper. But um, I was shocked. I'll take you over the car and show you exactly how it kind of works without doing it, but I'll show you real quick. All right, over here at the car, in case you're not familiar, uh, this is your clutch reservoir right there for your master cylinder, which is below here, not to be confused with your brake, which is right there. Um, long story short, just take this guy off right there. It's going to have your little boot inside there. Put that guy to the side. Now, before you do this, it's nice and clear in there, too. Um, I took this guy right there. I sucked this down inside. I sucked it all out into there, as you can see. So imagine this is almost to the bottom, but not quite. Um, the size of this diameter is amazing. Make sure it's nice and dry. You're going to drop it in there. Hold it kind of tight. It'll seal pretty quickly. Just pump it up to about 15 pounds or 15 inches of vacuum. And any air in there, you're going to get it out. You might hear it. I heard the initial one, like I said. And then once I took it off, I saw bubbles coming out for a little bit. I did it three times, cycled it three times. And man... What a huge difference. I was shocked. I've been working on cars for a while, and I've never done it this way. I've always just used a speed bleeder or submerged the line in fluid, and assuming I always got it. So I wonder how many cars in the past I've always left air in the system, you know? I thought I'd share that little little life hack with you guys. It's so simple. It's made my whole week, you know? It was pretty cool. Oh, I do want to show you guys something else while I have you for a video, hopefully by next weekend. So I got these wheels, super cheap online, 18s, which are going to go in the front. You're probably thinking, well, these don't look that good. They don't. It's hard to find. I want the Alcoa rims because they're darker, 
So I'm gonna sand this down, I'm gonna buff it, and I'm gonna paint it myself and polish it and turn it into, turn it into Alcoa wheels. And I'll do, if it, assuming it looks good, I'll match the rear ones and I'll be selling the front 17. So that's kind of my solution on the cheap to get 18s up front. And then once that's done, and I'm confident I can get a really good job on this, um, I'll be doing the big brakes. And then I'm sort of deciding if I want to do after the big brakes and the wheels a small cam or do more exterior stuff in the rear, the tail lights, maybe a, the front LED lights to match the side markers back there. Not sure yet. But yeah, that's what's going on. So get these looking like 01 Alcoas, big brakes, more static stuff. I think the interior is pretty much wrapped up. Uh, very last thing I would do is the um, dash pad itself, leather, but that'd be way, way, way in the future. After my C8s here, all that stuff. Man, I love this interior, it's so nice. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys found this informative. Again, I, just, I, love, I love stupid, simple, easy fixes. You know, it's such a cool, cool feeling. Hopefully someone out there sees this and their transmission, their T56 just drives like doo-doo and this helps you out, hopefully. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys hopefully this weekend. I, I still have a mini Cooper video I need to get edited. Um, and then yeah, I'll see you guys probably by Friday's latest. So, all right guys, take care.